Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I wanted to tell you something that, um, for me, less, more for me and less for you guys. Although, you know what, some of you might be in the same position and you guys might want to try or, or benefit from some of the advice I'm going to give you. Um, as I've gotten older, as many people have, I find it harder and harder to lose weight. And after this winter, I ballooned up to almost 200 pounds. Um, I'm a short guy, five, five and a half, almost five, six. I'm right in the middle there. Um, I used to work out at the gym a lot, used to be in great shape, used to be fairly big, um, muscular wise, um, over the years, especially since I've had the kids, I haven't had time for that and I haven't been in the gym in a while. Um, so that was the start of it. And my frame has always allowed me to carry that extra weight, uh, without too much of a problem. People would be like, Oh, I, I you don't look like you weigh that much. I just did a family photo. I'll sh actually, well, I'll show you the photo. You can see it here. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so this is me at around 196, 197, I think it was. This was Easter weekend. Photo with the family. Um, that's me in the front, the manatee. And <laughs> that's what was going through my head. I'm, I'm not happy with, with that. So as of Tuesday, following Easter weekend, I started fixing things. Um, Tuesday I drank, I didn't eat all day, nothing but coffee until, um, dinner time. And then I, I had a, a decent meal. I'd have to look back at my notes on what I had, but you know, balanced, decent meal, not, not a lot of refined stuff. Um, Wednesday similar. And I've been trying to do that is basically, it's almost like a coffee fast throughout the day. And then I eat a decent meal at dinner. Why it works for me. Some people would say, oh, that doesn't work. It, uh, first of all, fasting is known to be really good for you and a lot of people will tell you in the more progressive thinking dieting schemes is that if you can refrain from eating until later in the day it's like a uh, a day fast up until you break your fast which is what breakfast is by the way um so you're working on fat stores you're burning off fat that's in your body um caffeine helps accelerate that because it's keeping your adrenal system a little charged, keeping you awake, um, keeping you hydrated a bit too. Um, so I'm finding if I can go till dinner that way, that gives me the whole day of no calories. And as a bonus, because I've had no sugar in my system, my body's still running off fat stores. If you have any sugar at all, that's going to kill that ixnay on the fat store burning, right? So this is why it's, I'm finding it's working. And what's happened is, um, I weighed in this morning at 192. So I was about 196, 197. I'll put up a uh, thing here. There's the, the my chart of what I'm listing myself or, or recording my weights in the morning. So this morning was 192. I had a little, I was down after Easter. Uh, There's probably some weight, some, some water weight loss. And then I had a little burp because I had some Easter chocolate one night, I think Saturday night or Friday night. Anyways, a little bit of a mishap as far as trying to stick to the diet. It was really good all day, and then it, sometimes in the evenings when I'm watching TV after dinner, that's when it nails me. That's what happened. So anyways, I was really pretty pretty good over the weekend, other than Saturday, and ate a little bit of chocolate. But here I am, Monday morning, 192, whereas last Tuesday morning, so only six days ago, I was about one, um, well, let's say last Monday, I was around 195, 196. So... Um, probably even maybe closer to 200 on depending on when I was on that weekend. In any case, that's pretty decent. If I can lose two, three pounds a week, I'll be quite happy with where I'm at in a month or two. I wanted to let you guys know because it helps keep me honest. <laughs> I'm going to, A, it helps keep me honest. You guys know about it. And if I start straying off of it or I don't post any more videos about it, you're going to be like, hey, Matt, what was going on with that? So you guys might want to try that. What I'm trying to eat is just lean meats, um, and lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, other than black coffee, I'm just drinking water. Um, or you could, I mean, you can have a black tea if you want. The key is to stay away from your milk, sugar, and uh, cream. Um, and then in the evenings, the only thing I'm going to allow myself now, I'm going to try really hard, is just fruits. And I'm going to try even for more water-rich fruits, like an orange, an apple, um, or some berries, uh, maybe a smoothie of those ones. Uh, versus, say, a banana, which is a little bit more starchy. Any fruit's better as a snack in the evening if you got to have a snack than eating anything with refined stuff. So I'm trying to stay away from refined stuff. 
trying to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and lean meats. I think we've all heard that's good for us. The key for me here, what I'm doing is this kind of like coffee fast until dinner. Uh, sometimes I'm really hungry around two or three and I won't push it in the afternoon. If that's when I need to eat, fine. I'll have a little, you know, cooked chicken that might have been left over from the barbecue the night before in the fridge. Um, maybe a couple slices of ham wrapped around a piece of cheese. Uh, no carbs, no refined stuff. And I'm not, that's helping not break that fat burning cycle that's going on. So that's how I've got this, you know, four or five, six pounds of weight loss in the first week. And that's how I'm going to hopefully keep it going. I'll post updates. I'll try to let you know every day what's going on with that, but at least every two or three days. If you guys have any questions, put them below. Let me know. Uh, as I said, I used to be a gym rat. I used to be in the gym all the time. That's the other thing I'm doing. I'm doing like a home workout. I'm doing some, um, right at the moment, all I'm doing is some push-ups and some squats. No weight squats. So I stand like I'm squatting with my arms up um, and I just do like 10, 15. I'm going to build up to hopefully like 100 a day. But right now it's just a couple sets of 10. Uh, it's enough to get your body, you know, going at it again. Uh, your legs are your main muscle group and they really get your whole body going. And then doing push-ups is a really good upper body exercise. And once my upper body starts to come back, I'm going to start doing chin-ups again, which are really good too. All of which you can do at home without going out to the gym and with no special equipment. Uh, well, for the chin-ups, you need a chin-up bar. Um, in any case, this is what I'm doing. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you, I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. If you have any questions or you want to, you know, try this too, or you have any suggestions, let me know too. And um, thanks. Thanks for uh, being there for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon with uh, some more videos, some more articles on uh, videography, photography, technology. I had a little brain burp there on my little spiel. Um, and also back with more updates on how the weight loss is going. So thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.